I don't remember anything from the Vedanta that I found, uh, you know, was scientifically prescient. Um, and why should it be? That was, uh, I believe, a thousand years ago. Uh, just as the Greek philosophers had a lot of kind of interesting ideas like atoms um, that we can say today, oh, look, they were right, but they weren't really right because their idea of an atom is nothing like our idea of an atom. They just use logic to say, if you keep dividing things, you're eventually going to get to some fundamental thing, or you won't. But if you do, then that's an atom, and that, wouldn't that be interesting? And, you know, they couldn't go any further than that. Today we know a lot, of, you know, we know that atoms are even divisible, but so we, they use the word atom, we use the word atom for that, but whatever, the quarks, electrons, things more fundamental than atoms could be the final indivisible things. And all that shows is that, yeah, that reasoning was right, but it doesn't tell you, I mean, we have volumes and volumes, you know, hundreds of thousands of pages of knowledge about what those things really are and what they mean that the Greeks didn't have, and we can make lasers and telephones and satellites and, and MRI machines and all sorts of things with that knowledge because we have specific knowledge of what that really means. Mm -hmm.